What's up guys? So, as you could tell, I am clearly, clearly not in a 2015 WRX. In fact, I am in my 2006 STI, finally. So, I got the car back earlier today, and I actually hope you could hear me over all this noise, but it's very loud. <laughs> And I hope that you could hear me fine, but if not, I guess I'll be remaking this video. I actually picked up the car from More Performance earlier this morning, and right now it's just going through its uh, break-in tune. So I'm just cruising around trying to put some miles on it uh, because I have to break it in before I could actually get on it. Uh, Innovative Tuning actually just wrote the break-in tune for it, so I really can't get into boost or anything crazy or even go past 3,000 RPM which kind of sucks, but I'm just happy to have my car back. Now I started this channel back in July and I didn't have my car then either. But what you may not realize is I actually haven't had this car since May. The reason it took so long is because they put an engine in and it basically blew up again. Apparently there was a piece of shrapnel lodged in the intake manifold. So when they turned it over, it actually dislodged, came loose and it went through the engine and blew that one up as well. So I basically have a new engine, which is awesome. And while that was a major drawback, um, one of the big pros to that happening was I actually decided to upgrade the fuel system at the same time. So I will be making a video in the near future going over what's done to the car and the new modifications that I have done to it. Um, all my modifications can be viewed on my Willwell page. Uh, the link will be in the description if you want to check that out. I'm also just going to give you guys a fair warning. This car has a lot of squeaks and rattles going on. Um, I also have a lot of stuff in the car, so I'm not sure exactly what everything is that's rattling, but I will have to go through that at some point and figure out what it is. Um, I do have a lot of modifications done to the car, obviously, but I also have uh, stiffer transmission mounts, engine mounts, all kind of stuff like that. So it has increased uh, NVH a little bit, but I think there's something loose somewhere. So I need to get to the bottom of that. All right guys, so as you can see, I got my car back today and I am thrilled. It's actually been five months since I've had my car. So I have a lot to catch up on. I definitely will have more videos coming out about the car in the coming months and weeks. But for right now, I'm gonna do as promised and complete that what's in your car tag that I was tagged in by Evan Shanks. So in my last video, which was my 500 subscriber special, uh, you guys saw that I didn't have an engine in this car. So check it out. It's usually where I like to keep my engine, in the engine bay, where it should be. So I'm gonna have a more detailed video on this in the future, but to cover some of the upgrades really quick, I have an upgraded ETS top mount intercooler. I also upgraded my fuel system so I have bigger fuel rails, bigger injectors. I actually have 1300 cc uh, injector dynamics injectors, they're top feeds. And I also have a, as you can see, the fuel pressure regulator. And I have a wideband AFR gauge now. So both Evan and TJ have said that they like to keep a water bottle on their door. And so do I. The problem is this car was built in 2006 and back then it wasn't cool to stay hydrated. So Subaru figured you didn't need to carry a water bottle, but I have a way of making this work. Ha ha, there you have it, done. Water on your door. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you everything else that I keep inside my car. Bear with me because I'm shooting this with my DSLR and it is not very compact. I wish I had a GoPro, but I don't right now, so bear with me. So, working my way left to right, I have my version two mount right here. I'm actually gonna get rid of that and upgrade to my version three at some point. I'm probably gonna mount it to this A-pillar, actually. Um, if you come across, yeah, uh, excuse the steering wheel. It's falling apart and dying, as is my shift knob. But 
I have my triple gauge pod right here. I have my boost gauge. I have my oil pressure gauge and I have a exhaust gas temperature gauge. I'm also gonna mount my uh, AFR gauge, my wideband right up there, most likely. I have a Pioneer head unit with GPS and Bluetooth, play CDs and DVDs and everything like that, so it's awesome. Especially since I love listening to music, I'd die without it. Uh, below that, I have this little cubby space, which is completely stupid um, because you can't fit anything in there. It's like a, an ashtray. And if you take that out, it's completely useless. And even this ashtray always stays open for some reason. I don't know what Subaru was doing with that, but I usually keep that closed because it's completely pointless. So obviously I was joking earlier about the water bottle on the door, but honestly, I do keep a water bottle on me at all times. I also keep my phone and wallet in the other cup holder, usually. There's also a good deal of change that ends up accumulating there, but like I said, I just got the car back, so right now I don't have much change in the cup holder. Now in this cubby here, I have, let's see, my air fuel ratio gauge, which they already ran the wires for it, but I just need to get a gauge pod and install it. I have my version three access port. I always carry a pen because you never know when you might need one. I have random nuts and bolts car parts. I also like to carry some uh, razor blades, at least one, sometimes two, because I end up losing them. But you never know when you're gonna have to cut something open. Half the time I go to the store and it's in heavy duty plastic um, packaging. So I like to be able to get into that if I have to. But even for emergencies, it's always good to have a blade on you. I also have my lip balm because you never know when you're gonna need it. And especially it's starting to be cold out and it's towards winter, the air is very dry and it dries out your lips and dry lips are not sexy. I should also mention that uh, I don't have a radar detector at the moment because I just haven't bought one because priorities, but I plan on getting one after I do all the appropriate research. And I actually do have a dash cam, but I haven't set it up yet. So I will have a video about that. It is actually a different dash cam than what uh, Subaru WRX fan or Rob Dom have used. It's a G1W, I believe. And it's like 40 bucks made in China, probably from little children, who knows but I've seen good reviews of it, so I will have a video of that. But currently I don't have it installed on the car. Moving over to the glove compartment, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand, so bear with me. First of all, I guess because I'm a safety nerd, um, I like to have a reflective belt, just in case, for whatever reason, I would be stopped on the side of the road or break down or whatever. Uh, it's good to be visible. I have shooting glasses or safety glasses because you never know when you might need them. I have my old beat up pair of sunglasses. They basically get down cycled and they wind up in my glove box. So I always have a bunch of sunglasses. I have extra lenses for my sunglasses. Next I have my little emergency pack, if you wanna call it that. I have all kind of essentials in here, good things to have. So I have hand sanitizer. I have these toothpicks. I also have floss because you never know when you might need it. Uh, in the larger compartment, I have eye drops, which I use in case my eyes get dried out or if you get something in your eye, it's always good to have that so you could rinse them out. I have a few band-aids. I have mouthwash toothbrush. I actually have two toothbrushes. I don't know why. I have this Dr. Scholl's. These are awesome, to be honest with you. Um, I've used these in basic training and in tech school. And these, if you ever get a blister or anything like that, these are absolutely amazing. I could not live without them. I also have this Tide to Go pen, just in case, you know, you make a mess and you get a stain or something. I have toothpaste. Q-tips, and I think that's about it. But this pack here is basically like, if I'm ever out, you know, you go out to eat, eat at a restaurant, you get something stuck in your teeth, 
anything like that, you have a hot date, whatever it is, you should always be ready to go. So I have my registration and in my insurance information, I have my manual and crap, which I never really look at. Let's see, I have tools. I have lots of tools. These thingies for my nuts. You know, Evan has his thingy for his nuts. TJ has his thingy for his nuts. These are my thingies for my nuts. So I have those. I have some random paperwork. I believe that's on my uh, coilovers, the different dampening adjustments I have. I have my wrenches so I could adjust my coilovers. What else do I have? This is my little log. I was logging in here every time I would do an oil change and stuff like that, but I have a new engine, so I need to start a new log. I have a tire pressure gauge, and it's, I recommend having something decent instead of the cheap, stupid crap they give you, um, you know, at AutoZone or whatever, those little $2 ones. Get something decent so it's actually accurate. What else? I have chem lights. Again, these are, I guess, military grade, if you want to call them that. I always carry chem sticks because, like I said, I'm a safety nerd and you never know, you might get stuck somewhere when it's dark out and you might need to use those. I have a few random pens. Uh, this Allen key is actually for my tow hook. I have a few other random Allen keys and an envelope with, I believe, my bill of sale in it that I never took out of the car when I bought it, but I have a bunch of random other crap in there. And that's all I have for my glove compartment. Another thing that I have in my car right now that I don't typically keep in here is engine oil. Uh, as you can see, this is specifically break-in engine oil, and it's because my engine's brand new. Uh, brand new engines actually use more oil than one that has been broken in. So it's always a good idea to have some extra oil so that you could top things off and keep an eye on things. I don't normally drive around with oil, but in this case I do. That's all I have for the car, so let's go to the trunk. So, like I said many times, I just got the car back. So, I have a bunch of car parts that they uninstalled, which I had upgraded. Um, I don't typically drive around with a bunch of random car parts in my trunk, but in this case, I have some. So, I'll show you. I have my Access Port version 2. I do have a squeegee. I always keep a squeegee just to do my windows. Inside the box, I have my old fuel rails. As you can see, I still have injectors in there. Those are 740cc uh, side feed injectors by Dietchworks. I have my OEM top mount. I have old fuel lines. This is the box from my AFR gauge that they installed. I have my box for my injector dynamics, uh, 1300cc injectors and I have a box from my fuel pump. I actually upgraded my fuel pump to a Dietchworks uh, 3, 320 liter per hour pump. So that's what that is. So now that I have the parts out of the way, I have my camera bag here with all my camera gear. I have the bag for my tripod, which I always keep in my car. My camera always comes with me, uh, so I keep it in my car, but I never leave it in my car. Uh, tripod, I usually keep at least one in the car because I have them. They're cheap $30 ones from Best Buy, so I don't care. Uh, tools, I always keep a toolkit in the car because you never know when you're going to need it. And it never fails when I don't have tools in the car is every time that I need them. Back here, I always keep random stuff in this organizer here, which it's really not organized at all. But it holds all my crap. So. Again, I have a, another squeegee. I usually just keep uh, one in here, but sometimes I have two because I like clean windows and a squeegee is probably the fastest and easiest way to clean your windows. Have a speed wrench just in case I have any emergencies. I have a pack of zip ties because you never know when you're going to need them. I actually end up zip tying stuff on my bumper, uh, in my engine bay, whatever. It's always a good idea to have zip ties. I have these shop towels, which are awesome. I always roll with shop towels because they're much heavier duty than uh, regular paper towels, so 
have something like that. I have a pipe and those of you who have no idea what a pipe could be used for other than beating people up, um, I actually use this for leverage. Uh, if I ever have to change my wheels or tires or anything like that, or if I need to wrench on something and I need more leverage, I have a pipe so that I could get more leverage. I have more zip ties, a funnel. This funnel here I actually use for uh, bleeding my coolant. Uh, that's what I last used it for. So it's junk, pretty much. I have a bunch of ratchet straps, big and small ratchet straps which I need to organize, but again, I didn't um, have a chance to organize them before I actually got to this review because I wanted to get this out to you guys. So yeah, it's a mess. So now that I have that crap out of the way, I could show you guys what's underneath it. So first things first, uh, this right here, I actually use for my GoPro. I don't have a GoPro that works at the moment, but when I had my Hero 2, um, I would run this outside of the trunk and attach it to GoPro. So if it were to fall off, it wouldn't strike the ground or get run over. Uh, some car guys may have an issue with this, but I actually use fix-a-flat or slime. I always carry at least one can, if not two of it, and it's got me out of a lot of jams, so I, I don't have a problem using it personally. My car w does not have TPMS sensors, so there's really nothing to screw up other than maybe valve stems, which I have replaced every time I have new tires mounted anyhow, so it really isn't an issue for me. Uh, jumper cables. I cannot believe how many people run around in their cars with no jumper cables. Uh, it's not only for you, but it's for somebody else. There are so many people with dead batteries that having jumper cables can really save somebody's day and could probably get them to like an auto zone or whatever to, so that they could get a new battery. I have rope because you never know when you might have to tie something. I have a toe strap. This is a 20 foot toe strap. Uh, as you can see with hook ends because you never know when you're gonna have to pull somebody out of a ditch and me having a Subaru I think it's the noble thing to do that when your fellow man is stuck in a ditch You help them and pull them out because that's very nice. I also have gloves if I would have to change a tire or Deal with something nasty that I don't want to touch with my bare hands. I have gloves um, Have basically the tools to use my jack not even tearing into that completely but that's that so i never really have had to use my jack fortunately but yeah some of these parts are to be used with that and lastly since this is an sti i have my intercooler water spray tank back here which you basically just fill it up with water um i do have i believe windshield washer fluid in there right now uh, just so that it won't freeze in the winter But that's that so that's typically what I keep in my car on a day-to-day -day basis Aside from the car parts uh, now I have to put all this crap back in my car But before I do I'm gonna tag two people first of all Subaru WRX fan because I want to see what he keeps in his EcoBoost and secondly Rob Dom because at this point all that I know that he keeps in his car are dead bodies So I'm calling those two guys out. I want to see what they keep in their cars this is what I keep in my car, so until next time, I'll catch you guys later.